protein powder? What a waste of money. Your body can get everything it needs without supplements. What's up guys, it's Cavalier, Athlinex.com. Look, there's no issue that gets people's blood boiling more than supplementation because you got people like him who think it's just not worth the money or your time. And of course you got guys like this who, let's just say, are in support of supplementation. And of all the supplements out there, there tends to be one that dominates the discussion and that's protein powder. And for good reason, because it's the most purchased supplement on the market. Well, I'm gonna jump into the fray and I promise you that by the end of this video, I'm going to help you to understand whether or not protein powder is worth your money. And even though I sell a protein powder myself, you can get my promise that I am dedicated to getting you the unbiased answer so you can decide for yourself. And it starts over at the board. And one thing I think we all can agree on is that you're gonna need protein in some form if you at least wanna maintain a healthy life. And for that, we're talking about a bare minimum of 0.36 grams per pound of body weight, which would give you 65 grams in a day at 180 pounds. For those people looking to actually build muscle, those numbers go up substantially, now into a range of 0.7 grams to 1.2 grams per pound of body weight. That is now 126 grams to 216 grams per day at that same 180 pound body weight. And it's definitely gonna take a concerted effort to get this much protein. Keep in mind, it ain't gonna come for free. You see, in a world where fries can be free and even double stuff isn't enough, it's obvious that carbs are cheap and protein comes at a premium. And whether you know it or you don't, you've been paying for it all along. So if protein powder hasn't made the budget because it's too expensive, I kind of have a little revelation for you here that's gonna help you because we have a formula that will generalize the cost across various protein sources so you know what you're actually spending. So if you took something like chicken, right? You went out and bought a pound of it for $6.99. Well, how many servings did I get? Well, let's say four four ounce servings. So there's 29 grams of protein per serving. So that means for that $6.99, you just bought a total of 116 grams of protein. 29 times four. Well, if you wanna find out what the real cost of that protein is, you have to find out how much you're paying per gram. So you would divide 6.99 by 116, and you get six cents per gram. Well, we could apply that to other protein sources. How do they compare? Lean ground beef is a little less protein for four ounces, a little bit less on the cost too, but it overall comes out to a little bit more at 6.8 cents per gram. If I took top sirloin, a little better cut of meat, $8.10, same 23 grams of protein, it's 8.6 cents per gram. And if I went to the fish side of things, I have 23 grams in four ounces at 980, so this is getting a little bit more expensive at 10.6 cents per gram. But if I wanna just kinda of dial it back and say, what about just a simple egg? Well, an egg is gonna be six grams of protein in the egg. Of course, for a dozen eggs, $5.20, thank you inflation, it's at 7.25 cents per gram. So still around the same cost. Maybe you go for the peanut butter route and we'll go with a good natural peanut butter here. Eight grams per two tablespoons, 14 servings in a jar at $4.39. You're a little bit cheaper here at four cents per gram. But keep in mind, you're not just getting peanut butter here, you're getting some additional sugar, a little bit, but also more additional fats that may not fit into your routine or your diet plan right now. Then we could go to, let's say, the other vegetarian or vegan choices, which would be tofu, 10 grams for a half a cup, three and a half servings at $2.56 is gonna be 7.3 cents per gram. Again, pretty familiar price. And of course, we can go with lentils, a protein powerhouse at 24 grams per half a cup, 2.3 servings at 3.19, 5.7 cents per gram. The fact is, you're paying for your protein. What's your issue with protein powder again? So let's talk protein. Now I promised I wouldn't turn this into a commercial, but I do have the most familiarity with my own brand, so I'm gonna use that as an example. But before we do, can we get one thing straight first? Can we stop referring to protein powder as a supplement? Because it's not, it's a food, an alternative protein source, just like all these that preceded it, that helps people that use it to achieve their daily protein goals. And if your argument is that what makes it a supplement is that you're adding it into your regular whole food protein choices, I would counter that by saying the fish that you have when you go out to dinner every two weeks with Aunt Mimi is probably more supplemental to what you normally eat than the protein shake that I have every single day. So how's this formula shake out when we actually apply it to our protein powder example? Well, very much the same way, you might be in for a shock. Again, focus on the price. 
$54.99. And again, people actually make a giant mistake when they're shopping for protein powders because they focus only on the price and they think that's how they should value shop. Not so fast because you also want to know how many servings you're getting and also how much you're getting per serving. The same three factors that matter in the last equation. And what comes out is 6.5 cents per gram. So it puts you right in that sweet spot again for where you want to be. People who focus only on either the price of the bottle or, in some cases, the price per serving are making a giant mistake because price per serving doesn't tell you anything. What if there's five grams of protein in one serving and 35 grams of protein in the other serving? The price per serving is not going to match up or help you at all. You need to know what the price per gram is to really know the value of the protein you're about to buy. So how would it stack up to, let's say, your favorite protein? Well, I went to Amazon.com and I got the top six most popular protein powders and we ran the same exercise across the board. And what's interesting is when you look at the overall cost per gram, they're all again pretty similar. Six and a half cents, six and a half cents, seven cents, 6.8 cents, seven cents. There are a couple here on the bottom that seem to be a little bit unusually cheap. We'll get back to them in a second. But what you want to also compare is how much protein are you getting per serving? Because most of the time, they're going to come in under the threshold. We call it the mTOR signaling threshold, which is 29 grams, which gives you three grams of leucine, which is enough to stimulate the muscle protein synthesis that we get through the mTOR pathway. A lot of these are insufficient. Now, I get it. You could be mixing them with milk, or you might want to throw something else in that could boost the total. But Athlean RX Pro 30G was created with a full 30 grams per serving in order to exceed that threshold and not have you rely on something else. Others might say, well, Jeff, I'll just have one of those six gram of protein eggs to go with my optimum nutrition protein. Whatever you decide to choose here, you're going to pay for every gram. Remember that egg costs 7.25 cents per gram. You add that in here, it's actually more expensive to go that route. And I would argue it's a lot more inconvenient to have to now prepare the egg and the protein shake together when you're short on time. And I mentioned these cheaper proteins down here. Remember guys, the easiest way to find out whether or not you should even be buying one or not is to look for the first source of protein on the label. If you see whey protein concentrate, they're cheaping out for a reason. And there's a reason why it comes in at such a lower cost. But listen, if that's all you can afford, go for it. If you remember nothing else other than this in this video, when it comes to protein guys, you get what you pay for and you will pay for every single gram. You know, maybe protein doesn't seem like such a bad idea after all. So if you're like our friend here who had a change of heart, then I invite you to re-invite protein powder back into your diet. And what the hell? While you're at it, Athlean RX available over at athleanx.com. If you haven't done so, guys, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on notifications so you never miss a video when we put one out. All right, guys, see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's taking my mouth.